Okay, so we're going to tap on self-sabotage. And this, so however that's manifesting for you, whether you're not quite stepping into that project, whether you keep having arguments in your relationship, whether it's a particular behavior, you keep judging, you keep gossiping, there's something that you just feel like, oh, I really don't want to do it that anymore, and you keep doing it, okay? Now, of course, this is it's a generic um, session, and there may be some things I say that don't relate to what you are, are particularly working on. You're not going to do any harm whatsoever if you tap and you just repeat, and but you stay with whatever it is that you're practicing. So get clear on an area of your life where you'd like to make some changes and then choose something that's around a seven that you can start with right now to improve this area. And then ask yourself, what is this self-sabotage? Why am I self-sabotaging? What's the belief behind this? What's the belief that drives this kind of behavior? And spend some time exploring that so you can get really clear. Now, make sure when you begin this practice, it is something around a seven, especially if you're, you're not very familiar with this practice. If you start with things that are doable, and you're feeling the charge taken out, then you'll be successful going forward. So you don't want to be starting with the big things. And there may be those things that you definitely need support with. So be kind to yourself, layer it well, and that's how you'll have success in really creating change and being able to create a tool that really works well for you. Okay. So just come along with me and have an experience. So bring to mind that thing, that, that, that self-sabotage that keeps cropping up in your life, okay? And then from here, we're just gonna tap on the karate chop points here, okay? And just repeat after me. So even though and I'll pause to give you that chance to repeat, okay? So even though I self-sabotage in this particular thing, and you may want to name it, I love and accept myself. So even though I have this behavior I love and accept myself. So even though I self-sabotage, I'm open to change. Okay, and then let's go to the, the sequence. So I keep sabotaging myself. I'm getting in my own way. I feel powerless with this. Whenever that thing happens, I lose control. And I don't like this. I feel powerless. It's frustrating. I don't trust myself. I've let myself down so many times. I hate being in this position. And I want you to just go to that time now when you do that. You know, when either that craving kicks in or that feeling that you just can't control the anger, the irritation, there's almost a self-righteousness about it that maybe you enjoy. And just stay with that feeling. What is that feeling in that moment when you really go there and you, and you can almost see yourself doing it, but there's no control whatsoever. And you're not trying to change anything. You're just simply tapping 
and accepting right now that that's what it is. So how does it feel in your body? What's the emotion? Is it frustration, anger, just a craving? Just a feeling of panic? And you don't have to get heady about it. Feel it. Notice where do you feel this in your body? Is it tightness? Does it have a texture, a colour, a particular weight or shape? Just noticing it, noticing it. And repeat after me, this self-sabotage, it's a form of protection and I don't need it anymore. This part of me is scared. This part of me is alerting me. It's trying to keep me safe. Now just stay with that feeling and instead of feeling frustrated with it, think of it as a part of you that's learnt how to do this, that somehow, even if it was from a position of rebelling, somehow it stepped up and it helped you at one time. So just, even if you don't know how or where, it doesn't matter, just this is a part of you that just keeps cropping up, wants to keep you safe, wants to keep you doing what you're doing, even if you're not happy, even if you're feeling, even if it's painful. And just be with it. And I like to finish the round, just shed a light. So it's like taking a torch and saying, okay, I see you. I know this is what you're wanting to do. This is what you keep trying to do. And without trying to change anything, just be with it. And when you get to the top of your head, just take a pause. And just notice how you feel. And then just take a look at that scale now. So we were looking at something around a seven. And I'm assuming that it's starting to go down the scale. And if it isn't, you may want to repeat this round a few times, okay? But I'm assuming it's going round, down the scale now. And let's come back to the karate chop point. So even though I feel out of control in this situation, Things have changed a little and I'm open to more change. It feels more spacious and even though I still feel some tension, I'm ready to release this. Okay, so begin the tapping. So. I do self-sabotage and things feel slightly less charged and I want you to go to that feeling, the shape and the texture and see if you can change it. So that tension in the body, the weight of it, to see if can you transform it as you breathe into it and feel that, that sense of love towards it is just like, almost like a, a part of you that feels in trouble, that feels scared, that wants you to alert you. And rather than push it away, you're just going, okay, it's okay. It's safe to change this. It's safe to do something different. So play with that. Be curious. Experiment. Trust yourself. Keep breathing as you tap. 
and let this feeling change in your body, maybe from tightness to a little bit more space. Easy, let your breath flow a little easier. You may want to put a gentle smile on your face. And just finish the round. And as you finish the round, you're making that choice to feel a little more empowered and spacious around this situation. So it doesn't have quite the charge. Okay, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just place the hand over your heart. And I just want you to tap in between the little finger and the ring finger now. Have the hand on the chest and tap and close your eyes, open your eyes, and then look up to a corner, hold it there, just take a breath, and then look up to the other corner, and you might see stars, it might be a little bit achy, it's fine, just breathe, you're just helping your brain to process, and then take a full circle, so go round the clock, so looking up, and circle right the way round, Keep tapping as you do it, so you go slowly in one direction, all the way round, and when you get to the top, you go back the other way. Just keep moving, keep tapping. And then once you've gone all the way around, just release the eyes. And you're just going to hum the first line of happy birthday. And then count one, two, three, four, five. And that's just to engage the left and the right brain. And then just release a moment and just notice how you feel. Now when you think about this situation now, I'm assuming when we're looking at that scale from 0 to 10, you're moving down to a 3, possibly a 2, but it doesn't feel so big, doesn't feel so charged. Okay, and let's go back. So even though I have residue around this, I'm choosing to let it go. So even though I have residue I'm choosing to let this go, and I love and accept myself. So even though there's some residue, I'm open to change. Okay, so I'm choosing to let this go now completely. I no longer feel it has such a hold on me. I have choice in this situation. I have more space and ease. And notice the space and the ease in your body when you bring this to mind. Let there be a sense of space and ease. Notice the colour and the shape and the texture. If that works for you, and if it doesn't go with what you're feeling, but space, let there be space in your body, space in your life. I'm just going to do one more round now. I'm assuming that this is really going toward, towards naught, so I feel easy and spacious. I feel calm and relaxed when I think about me in this situation. I have choice. And we're not right now going to go to what you're going to do right now you're just going to enjoy having that pause and that ease so we're not rushing to change but fill this space with ease and peace fill it with ease and peace there'll become a time to dream up whatever you're going to put it in its place more fully but right now, just enjoy the fact that the charge isn't there and that you do have choice. 
and choose to feel peaceful and open and at ease. Take a deep breath in and just take a moment just to enjoy what you've created. A gentle smile on your face, see yourself in that situation. And when you're ready, just open your eyes. And it may be that you want to repeat those different cycles and to play with different areas. Keep it, keep it easy, keep it short to begin with because every time you have a success, then it makes it easier and easier to bring the bigger things in. My name's Leanne Campbell. I'm a life and wellbeing coach and I specialize in somatic practices and I'm also co-creator of A Handpicked Life and all the details are there below. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that you use this. Keep practicing this, keep using it, explore, experiment with it so it really becomes a tool that you've got readily in your toolkit. If you've enjoyed this then please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share this video, it really helps us out and thank you for joining me.